These are the best beef barbecue ribs, the old school traditional style, and I'm showing them made in an instant pot or pressure cooker using hot barbecue sauce, which I'll link below. You can use salt and pepper, or what I use is two teaspoons of the Hickey Bottom Spice Rub instead because it has salt and pepper, but also has tamarino powder, cumin, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, coriander, cayenne pepper, habanero powder, and hickory smoke powder. I use one fourth of a large red onion, rough chop, two whole cloves of garlic, peeled of course, one half cup of water, one cup of hot or sweet if you prefer barbecue sauce, Cut the ribs into sections small enough for your pot, add one half cup of water, the ribs, chopped onion, garlic, one cup of barbecue sauce, and two teaspoons of the spice rub, which you may have if you've made my chili recipe. If not, the link is right here. Set your cooker to pressure cook and the bone-in meat setting. Mine will auto cook for 50 minutes, but 50 to 60 minutes is perfect to render off the fat and make super tender meat. Meanwhile, line a casserole with foil and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. While you're waiting, you could prepare this incredible pasta salad linked here using a beautiful Aloha bell pepper. After an hour, the ribs will have a high internal temp and yet be juicy and not dry. That's the beauty of pressure cooking. Then slather on plenty of barbecue sauce, about one cup more, and bake in the oven for 15 minutes to caramelize the ribs. They will be absolutely perfect. Every bite is so full of flavor, the fat is rendered off, the meat is incredibly tender, and there's practically no cleanup. If you serve that pasta salad with it, people will go crazy. The pasta salad makes eight servings, but most people eat more, so it will really serve about four to five people. This meal is a huge success, so simple. And you've gotta make this. See all of my videos, don't forget to click subscribe.